some period of time. Why is this not legal here? Well, uh, it, it's considered to be a new drug by the FDA, and that's the number one reason. There are uh, four but, countries so far that have approved MSC products. There's Canada and New Zealand were the first to. You can go to Canada and get this done. Well, not for only only for certain conditions. So in Canada, New Zealand, they approved bone marrow MSCs, which are in my mind are, are not as good as umbilical cord, and I explain why. Um, and and then South Korea has approved umbilical cord for knee osteoarthritis only. So the cells have to be injected into the knee. And then Japan just recently approved the same product that it, it's used to treat a, a very serious ac acute graft ac acute graft versus host um, disease in children after they've had a bone marrow transplant. Now, are there peer-reviewed studies or anything that shows the efficacy of this intravenous use of these stem cells? Yeah, there there are hundreds. There are hundreds. And and my book MSC, which is you know you don't want to read it unless you want to go to sleep, unless you're <laughs> looking for something. You know, it's just it really is purely a, a research tool. Um, we have 800 references, and the, er, we reference every clinical trial that's ever been done with MSCs in human beings, and there are 800 of them. Well, I've had some uh, great results with stem cells. Dr. Roddy McGee in Las Vegas uh, shot a bunch into my shoulder. I was at the door of surgery. Mm -hmm. I was like, my shoulder's in pain all the time. I can't do a lot. Every time I do something, I have to ice it down for a day. And now I have full function. Oh, I mean, great. it's crazy. I mean, I was literally, I mean, it still clicks. I've got some weird shit in there and there's probably some stuff floating around in there. Mm -hmm. But as far as like the function of my shoulder mm -hmm. and the, the pain, it's, it's like 100%. I could do basically everything. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, I was 57, 58 years old. And this is like, what, four or five years ago. And both my shoulders, torn labrums, arthritis, bone spurs, like rotator cuff issues. And I went down and I got 10 million cells in each shoulder. I said to the doc, you know, is this going to hurt? And he says, only when it comes out the other side. <laughs> but he put it in and it, it was, you could feel him pierce the capsule and you could feel pressure. And uh, I couldn't flap my wings for three days, but after that, no more problems. And this is different than the stem cells that you can get in the United States currently. Yes. Yeah. What's the difference? Well, the big difference. I, I had in, it, <clears throat> from umbilical cords. I had, uh, what is it called? What's the kind that you can get here in the United States? Well, you can, the only thing that's legally legal in the U.S., at least for now, I don't think it's going to be last much longer, is from Amnion. Yeah, and that's And there's, there's an exemption in the, uh, it's a federal federal exemption for the use of amnion for wound covering, and a lot of people have now translated. Now they're uh, using it in joints and things like that. But you don't that, think they're going to be able to do that very much longer? I don't believe so. Why is that? Because uh, this commissioner, FDA commissioner, has made it very clear that he doesn't like it, and and they they really haven't liked it for quite some time, uh, because the the exemption is for one thing, and and they're and every, and doctors are using it for all kinds of other things. I I don't necessarily agree with it. I just I just know right. what's coming down the pike you know, from a regulatory standpoint, uh, and and the you know there've been some regulatory things that have come out. They've gone after clinics, and you know I think they've shut down three places in just in the last couple of months. And they haven't gone after Amnion yet, but I think they're building their case for it. And uh, unfortunately, that's what's going to happen. Now, so. why would they go after it? That's what's confusing. If you've seen all these benefits, and I haven't heard anything about negative results. I, yeah, I don't, I don't understand it myself, to be honest with you. It's, you know, Amnion's been used clinically in the United States for over 100 years uh, without serious adverse events. But um, I think it's more about the claims that people are making because there, there haven't been studies, for example, of amnion, you know, amnion tissue injected into a joint. And I think that the, the biggest concern is the claims that are being made and maybe people are being vulnerably, you know, right. I, I don't know, some, vulnerable to the economics of it. I'm, I'm not really sure, but I, I know that I, I, I just, you know, I have my finger on the pulse and, and that's, it seems like they're go, they're, they've gone after fat. You know, we were the first in the world to use fat-derived stem cells in, in 2006. and 2007, we published in, on using those to treat rheumatoid arthritis and, and uh, multiple sclerosis. Uh, and then a lot of doctors in the U.S. started doing that. Now, now there's a new guidance to industry that came out a few months ago that specifically prohibits using it for, for example, taking your own fat, isolating the stem cells out of it, and then uh, injecting them in your bloodstream or even injecting them into a joint. So um, it, I, I don't 
I don't really know the whole the motivation behind it, but I, I know that they they very clearly stated that that's not going to fly anymore. <laughs>